Uh-oh. Every single day, we need more and more energy to sustain our way of life. Airplanes, refrigerators, cars, computers, and cellular phones, every single one of our human activities need energy. But this much-needed energy is not readily available everywhere. Not at all. The energy we need is obtained by transforming energy sources, such as the energy from the sun. Or the energy from the wind! These original energy resources are known as sources of energy. Sources of energy are natural resources that can provide electricity, that can provide heat, and movement. There are many sources of energy. Let's look at the most widely used. There are three types of fossil fuels, natural gas, coal, and petroleum, which are extracted from the earth in different ways. These are combustible fuels because they burn to produce energy, and they are fossil because animals and vegetables that lived on earth millions of years ago formed them. Nuclear energy is a source that is found inside the atoms of a mineral called uranium. The nucleus of a uranium atom can produce enormous amounts of energy. Do you remember what an atom is? If you don't, my friend Ben can explain it to you in What Goes Into Matter. There are very large bodies of water on Earth. Hydraulic energy uses the power of moving water to produce energy, like from a waterfall, or from a wave, or from other moving water. Also, the movement of planet Earth and the atmospheric phenomena produce large amounts of winds. The power from the wind is the energy source called wind power energy. The sun is Earth's original source of energy. Solar energy is the energy that comes from the rays of the sun in the form of heat and light. And we can use it in different ways. For example, light is transformed into electricity through solar panels. Wood and other animal and vegetal waste forms biomass, which is a source for what we call bioenergy. These are the most widely used sources of energy in the world, but there are even more. Some of these sources of energy are renewable, such as the wind, which is constantly being generated, or such as the sun, which is almost inexhaustible. But some of the methods used to produce energy are more polluting than others. This process always has an impact on the environment. If our way of life nowadays requires more and more energy, can you imagine how Earth will be when you grow up?